it is I, your horror hostess, Reanimate Her, from Coffee Chat of Horrors. Do you enjoy chatting about horror and learning about behind the scenes of some of your favorite scary movies? <laughs> I know that I do. Well, then you are in the right place. Coffee Chat of Horrors is a live talk show where we dig up our guests from the grave and discuss all things horror. Check out some of the things we have on Earth. Vampires, Dracula, it's always really been about, A, the fear of the others, but specifically the fear of, of, of immigrants, you know? Yeah. Well, to take these, like, to take a Greek woman, a Middle Eastern man, and, you know, an Englishman, and put them in Staten Island and seeing how they're sort of fish out of water, like, they're not just fish out of water because they're vampires, they're also fish out of water because they're immigrants. And it's this That's sort it. of, like interesting way of exploring all of that you know it's like it's a funny show and you know and we get a giggle out of it but like at the end of the day like it's a sympathetic portrayal of of immigrants like living through the american experience which is like wild you know like what we get to have fun and just like joke around but also like it's meaningful in a, in a much broader sense as well here is, here is a um a little harry potter action um so <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do some some sort of rap or something with uh, Lord Voldemort. Uh, I don't know what yet, but I mean he's a pretty cool villain. So mm -hmm. uh, we have that one, and then there's also I have uh, this here. She will be part of the uh, Slice Girls. So we've got oh, Momo, awesome. uh, which is pretty creepy there. So the mouth Very. moves and everything, which is pretty cool. So she's gonna be a part of the Slice Girls. My mom reached over into the wood box and picked up a large uh, piece of wood and threw it on the fireplace. And she heard laughter behind her and she turned around and she looked into the dining room and there's an entire family sitting having dinner in the middle of our dining room. Oh, wow. And the fireplace that had been sealed shut and the center chimney had been removed like a hundred years before we moved into the house. And it was open and there was a fire burning and there was a woman in a full length dress that was stirring a pot of stew.